the line. You had just one job. The main job of Arizona's Department of Education is funneling billions of dollars in federal money to our schools. For the second time in a month, we are learning Superintendent Diane Douglas and her team are flunking that job. This time, tens of millions of dollars for special education students are at risk. Katie Campbell of the Arizona Capital Times has been covering the story. Welcome to Square Off. Thanks so much. What are Diane Douglas's <laughs> people doing wrong? Well, this was initially found under the prior administration, but what the issue really is here is that we have a formula that is not accounting for new and expanding charters, um, and that's an issue in a state that has quite a few. Um, so it's causing misallocations to the new ones as well as the existing. And this, in this case, we're talking about money for special ed students, correct? Yes. The previous one, it's money for low-income students. Correct. So it looks like some schools are getting way too much and some schools are getting way too little. Right. How do you handle that? That's a good question. They have to work that out with the Federal Department of Education at this point. Um, the plan that they're going to present is to say overallocated schools won't have to pay that back or face reductions in the future, and that um, the underallocated schools will be made whole through some carryover funds, but that's really going to be up to the Federal Department. Okay, so people are wondering where's all this money going to come from if people aren't going to be, you know, are people going to be made whole? Where is it coming from? So they have carryover. Say in a year you had maybe 25 charters shut down. The funding that might have gone to them would go into the department's coffers. Um, so they're going to sort of empty those to pay those schools back, but it kind of leaves the question of what happens to those emergency funds. Do we have anything left over if something like this happens again? And now are some low-income kids and special ed kids not getting the services they need or are, are due because Essentially. of this? So really we're looking at years past. This really stems from fiscal year 2014 through 17. Um, so those students might not have gotten the funding that they were really entitled to and that causes some concerns but unfortunately we, we can't do a whole lot as far as going back in time <laughs> to fix that for them. Again, I'm just wondering, how does this happen? That's a really good question. <laughs> this is their only job, right. funneling money. Most people don't realize this, but what, how much money is the Department of Ed funneled to schools? What, $4 billion or so? Yeah, I mean, it, the, the numbers are, are pretty extravagant. In this case, we're looking at about $15 million under allocated and about $14 million over allocated. So no small potatoes. <laughs> okay, so it was discovered through an audit, mm -hmm. um, which raises the possibility, could there be more problems with how the Department of Education has allocated money? Well, really the districts that I've spoken to and the charter representatives are, are afraid of exactly that. There's a lot of concern. They've had to kind of come to me asking for answers. And um, I've heard whispers that Title II could have been impacted. The, the department doesn't believe that's the case. Another um, federal program. Right. So, but because there's kind of a trickle of information at this point, that, that's a very valid question. Trickle of information, and I go back to what you just said, they're coming to you? Yeah. <laughs> nothing against you, Katie. <laughs> no, of course. They're coming to a reporter looking for answers because Diane Douglas doesn't have any? Right. Well, I don't know that they don't have any, but they're not wanting to share that information at this point until the feds have really validated that information. But the, inf the feedback that I've received is that the districts and the charters would really appreciate maybe a little more data um, just because they need to plan for a really uncertain future at this well, point. Last question. What is Diane Douglas saying about all this? Um, not too much to me anyway. She sent a letter um, to schools this week that really triggered um, my story into the special education funding saying that this happened. Um, but again, there's no dollar figures being shared with them. She will be appearing at a conference um, this month to answer some questions, but uh, a lot is really left up in the air right now. All right, Katie Campbell of the Arizona Capital Times. Great reporting. Thanks for joining Thank us. Thank you. <laughs>